Hey folks, um, well, ye yesterday I saw two movies, The Missing 411s and The Knowing. Knowing is a movie that came out uh, 29, I think. Uh, Nicholas Cage in it, uh, other people, doesn't really matter, who cares? Vector, who cares? It's kind of interesting, a movie, it's about it, it takes place, it takes place in 1950, some schools being, first students being built. And it's just trying to break the, the first year of the, the, se the school. And the little girl, some creepy little girl, her idea was she won the contest of like uh, play a time capsule. So all the, all the kids um, in the class uh, wrote beautiful pictures, spaceships, you know, what's going to be the future. And the, the creepy little girl, like, she has a bunch of numbers in it. And um, because, you know, they pulled the the pictures and, and her thing into an envelope and when we opened for 50 years. So um, a few years later um, they opened the tab capsule uh, Nicholas Cage character in the movie he doesn't believe everything just happens. Shit happens. That's his fear. There's no chance. Everything just happens for no reason. It just, you know what I mean? But later on in the movie it kind of like delays, you know, kind of tells them, you know, things do happen for a reason. And so, so basically the sample is like the, the little girl with the envelope for the years gave the new kids, uh, kids the envelope and then of course Cage is some kind of map with you figure out, you know, what these numbers. At first you realize they were a date and um, enemy people getting killed. And later on it was uh, location. It went up with location, date, and enemy people getting killed. And so a bunch of, and then, um, so he, he tries to figure it out, he tries to stop it, but it turns out he's always, you know, two seconds late, and those, you know what I mean, those cars, you're, you know, or he made things worse in the series. But uh, he's trying to, you know, figure out these, um, you know, the future. And a bunch of aliens are in it, to give, you know, kids black rocks, that kind of, Kind of tells what happens later on, but it's a decent movie. I, I saw it like a couple years ago. I didn't really see the movie, but I saw clips of it. The best clip was a plane crash. Nicholas Cage characters running towards the plane crash, and you know people being burned alive and stuff like that. It's a decent movie. It's some movie you watch. I watch it for free on YouTube. It's something on you know, Netflix, whatever Hulu you ever use. You know, yeah, it's, it's a decent them to kill two hours and something minutes it's okay movie it's all right you know what i mean it, uh, nicholas cage i kind of worry about his movies because every time i see a nicholas movies i honestly don't believe he look reads the script he just asks how much money are i going to make and stuff like that because he owns a lot of money so he's you know a bunch of really bad movies a lot of crappy horrible so um but this is decent. He doesn't over. He kind of overacts at one point in the movie, but he kind of plays a decent job playing those characters. I really don't think he's a great actor at all. The way he acts, I think he just overacts and it's really annoying. It's like goddamn bastard. I paid two dollars for this movie. But every good chance, uh, yeah, go watch it. Um, any questions? I'll put more details in the bottom. I guess that's my review for the annoying. Came out in two thousand nine. I don't know why. All right, bye.